Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Cancers for May 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much for your support. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I promise you, you're not going to want to go anywhere after viewing my videos. Um, also, make sure you guys smash the like button, okay, so that we can get this video out into the algorithm so more people can see it who may need these messages, okay? And this is general, of course, so you want to make sure you're taking only the messages that apply to you and let the rest fly. And if you want a more personal reading, because everybody's going through their own situation, okay? So if you need a personal reading, I do offer those. It will be listed below. You can get 20% off by joining our emailing list or by taking our Zodiac quiz. Um, so definitely make sure you take advantage of that. And let's get into the reading. Cancers, what are they not expecting to happen that may take place in the second half of May? What are my Cancers not expecting to happen that may actually take place in the second half of May? Let's see. Cancers, what are they not expecting to happen that may take place in the second half of May? Okay, so I'm going to move these up a little and then we'll go ahead and talk. Okay, and then I'm going to back this up just a little and fix this. Okay, so Cancers, the cards that we have here, we have the man holding a heart, community, anxiety, indecision, the garden and the gate contract. We also have knight of swords, the tower, knight of wands, the ten of swords, the two of pentacles and the devil. All right. So let's just talk about these cards briefly. So what you may not be expecting to happen with the man holding a heart card for one. Let's start there. Um, if you're a male watching this, I really feel like you guys are going to be really tapping into your heart chakra and now dealing with that trauma um, of a past relationship that you really haven't dealt with at all or you may have been just trying to brush it off and feeling as if you know you could just shake the energy off of this individual and even if you're a female this is you feeling still connected to somebody from your past or somebody who you still may have semi in your life but not really present like how they should be and this is finally dealing with those emotions, especially if this is like a close friend that you still have in your life and you haven't really let this person know how you feel about them. And you guys may be cordial and cool, but of course, there's always this like thing where it's like, okay, I, I, I love you and I care about you more than just a friend. For a lot of you as well, you're going to be reevaluating a lot of friendships that you have around you, Cancers. Um, this is going to be friends that you thought were just so down for you and were going to just be there through whatever. You're now seeing, oh shit, <laughs> this person didn't congratulate me on this. This person hasn't hit me up in months and I always have to start the conversation. So is this really a true friendship or am I just like hanging on to this by a thread and they don't care about me as much as I do. So reevaluating of close friends, reevaluating of. Hmm. The people that you may work with, like if you're somebody who has like a business and the people who you collaborate with in that business may be, you know, not picking up their end of the bargain or, you know making things seamless in regards to the business and just giving you more of a hard time that you may be having to reevaluate certain business partnerships as well. Another thing I am seeing, I just see that you guys are going to have moments of just being overly anxious and overly thinking about things. So you do want to be careful of having this high level of anxiety to the point where it makes you, and I, I've been seeing this for every sign. So it's not just you. I think there's some sort of like planetary uh, thing going on right now, uh, some sort of Mercury retrograde, or if it's not a Mercury retrograde, it's some sort of retrograde of some sort of planet here. Okay. But 
watch the anxiety and I'm gonna keep saying this for every sign watch the anxiety because it will make you either psych yourself out of making some sort of huge decision that's going to be beneficial towards you or it's going to psych you out to just stay stuck in a, a, a very like plateauing space another thing I am seeing here as well yeah, you guys are going to be pushed out of your comfort zone. You're going to realize that the old way of doing things is just not working for you at this point, especially when it comes to business, when it comes to thinking. And this is something that I, I heard somewhere. I think I read this somewhere on Instagram, but there's a saying that a full, no, what is, what is the saying? Look at me trying to give you guys a saying and I don't even know it. <laughs> I think the saying went something like um, only a fool gets presented new information and then they stay stubborn or they stay stuck to old beliefs and not adapting to new concepts or new understandings based off of new information that's presented. So with me saying that with change that's happening with just everything you know being different in the world now during this time frame there's a new way of doing things there's a need for a new way of doing things to be implemented and for a lot of you if you're too scared to you know step out of your comfort zone that's going to be only a detriment to you okay for some of you i am seeing like court stuff here so um if there's like a legal situation i do feel like it is going to go in your favor if you present the right facts and you have all your ducks in a row in regards to your side okay what else am i seeing here cancers um i do see some out of the blue communication this is possibly coming from an air sign and possibly a fire sign they may just randomly hit you up and this is somebody who literally calls you one day out of the month and then calls you three months later to check up on you. And it's always this catching up thing instead of you guys having consistent communication. So you may be reevaluating that friendship, especially with the air sign or fire sign where you're like, hmm, how are we really going to be friends? How are we really going to have a tight knit relationship if you're inconsistent in my life? And for some of you, it's not even a friend. This is somebody who you're romantically dealing with where there's inconsistencies as far as communications concerned. It's like things go left. Um, there's a shaky energy um, and it's just like putting you in a place of being kind of concerned. Um, I also see as well for some of you, you don't want to act too quickly to um move on something what i will say is especially if this is something that you just randomly got this idea and you know you just invest too much energy and time into it too quickly you may realize that just as fast as you are interested in it you're not interested in it just as fast okay and for a lot of you this is about you just this second half is really about you ending a lot of toxic relationships addictions for some of you, if there's like a smoking or drinking addiction, um, this is ending sexual relationships that are just sexually based, like nothing else but just sex. This is also you confronting those relationships and, and clearing your energy out. Now, I want to pull some charms to kind of look more in depth with what's going on, my cancers. I'm only going to um, do a little bit of them. And see what messages come out. Okay. Some of you, you may be realizing that, yeah, it's time for you to get an updated pair of glasses here. So you may be um, changing the framing of it because it may have like, you know, broke or something. I'm seeing you guys either getting new glasses or changing the framing on them. So basically getting new glasses. <laughs> Again, I see you guys, um, some of you are going to be doing money magic during this time frame. If you're somebody who's not really well versed in money magic, I would definitely um, fix you a candle, get you a green candle, fix it with some herbs for prosperity, like some cinnamon, um, some anointing oil, all that stuff. And I really see that that could help you shift some finances here. I'm seeing something here about a key. Some of you need to make sure you don't lock yourself out of your car or that you keep your keys somewhere handy because um, you may be kind of struggling with that. 
some of you may be realizing that you're you're getting closer and closer to your spiritual path as far as like you know being into like magic and all that other stuff you may be getting more and more um well versed in information in regards to that some of you your sleep schedules all over the place you may be up more at night and sleeping more during the day during the second half Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna stop right here. Yeah, I'm gonna stop right here. Thank you so much, Cancers, for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you subscribe. Again, if you want your own personal reading, because this is general, uh, your best bet is a personal reading. I will have my information listed below. Um, I will have opportunities for you as well to earn the 20% off by joining our emailing list or taking the zodiac quiz for cancers everything will be below including this deck and thank you so much siren imports for sponsoring this video okay if you want to purchase this rider weight uh deck this is literally like the updated version a more vivid images version i will have the amazon link below and thank you just so much for your support guys i really do appreciate it and i will see each and every one of you in the next one